she said she wants space, but if I just totally ignore her, aren't I going to lose her? How are we going to stay connected during space if I don't talk with her, if I don't connect with her, if I don't, you know, if we don't touch at all or if I don't say anything to her, if I don't ask her any questions. Or you see where this is going? It's like, well, what do I do? We get in that monkey mind as men when she says she wants space, when intellectually we know the best thing is to take a step back to take a step back or two steps back and give her exactly what she's asking for. But we've been so fueled by nice guy validation from her for so long that it's like taking a drug away from us. And that's a big reason that it's so hard to do what you know you need to do. But well, we're here to give you something that we talked about on today's The C-Note Show. I'm Jeff Allen. This is Cynthia Cruz. She's the only woman allowed on this channel for her professional feminine perspective. And Cynthia offered and I talked about what to do during her sex capade spot, she actually offered what to do when you want to connect with her, especially emotionally, right? Emotionally first, right, guys? You want to connect with her emotionally, but she's really not wanting anything to do with you right now. What can you do? So Cynthia, when she says she wants space, we're going to give them something, give you gentlemen exactly something to do. So do this during when she wants space. What would you offer to us, even if she, even if she kind of you know, hates us right now, wants nothing to do with, the, wants nothing to do with you. I've been there, by the way, wants nothing to do with him. And well, how can he still practice some type of connection, not only for himself, but for the relationship, regardless of whether she wants, <laughs> doesn't want to talk with him right now. Yeah. Well, even when two people are separate or living separate lives or not physically touching, there is still energy between the space of the two of them. And there is a tantric practice of how to actually cultivate and have intention with the space between two partners, a man and a woman, and it's called circular breathing. And it's a way of activating your kingly energy that is seated in your heart and the goldenness and the solidness that who you are as a man and how that you want to intentionally use your love for this person, for the space between you in a way where you're gifting love to them and even receiving their energy in return without a single word and not a single touch. Um, that's even needed. So in this tantric practice, two partners might actually be touching each other's hearts and one breathes in, breathes in love and then breathes out love and breathe in, breathe in love and sends out love. So there's this circular of give and receive between you two. Well, you can do this with someone, with a woman, with the feminine, even if she's way across the room from you and she's your wife or partner, or she's a woman that you just happen to be standing with in the grocery line or the takeout line. And the intention is to breathe in and send out love to the person and a uh, and as you breathe in again, actually feel their energy and their greatest intent for you. And then again, send out your breath and love to them and receive. And doing this 10 times is a practice, not only for the guidance you want to create, the container you want to create for your relationship, but it's also a way to give time and space to change a mood or a mindset you have if you're feeling in that moment, as we all would like, gosh, she won't even give me the time of day. I give so much. She doesn't give anything in return. That intention of breathing love is a way to go to a higher idea and thought process, bigger picture, which again is the epitome and the magic, the brilliance of that King energy. Yeah, beautiful. Th this is energetic and it's scientific, both of those things. I mean, we're aware that the woman in our life, the woman in your life is picking up on way more than you than you are with body language, with facial expression, just the way you're breathing or holding your breath or not breathing. She's going to pick up on those things much more generally than you are. So, I mean, one thing I could feel going through the mind is like, what is this? Is that really going to do anything? Well, absolutely. There's scientific research for this. And you've got to try something. You've got to run experiments as we coach our one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. The guys that we coach, we say, do this 20 times over the next 20 days or 20 times over the next month. 
and see what happens, not only for yourself, but the way that your relationship is, the way that your woman can relax more, that you've now taken a step back. You're not asking her so many questions. You're breathing love into yourself and you're breathing love within the relationship with her, whether she's in the room or not, whether she wants to even look at your face or not. This is a type of spiritual practice that's grounded in scientific research that you can do today. Okay. No excuses. Try this 20 times over the next month. Let us know how it goes. There's your cherry on top for today. If you haven't been a part of our free private Facebook group, go to greatmenmovemountains.com slash Facebook. About 200 amazing men in there. You can ask questions. We're in there as well. And you can be on our C-Note show, which is Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Mountain time. Love you guys. Thanks, Cynthia. Okay, thank you. Go move mountains one step at a time, guys. Bye. Subscribe. Want more affection, love and sex in your marriage? Want less paralyzing fear and rejection? Join us live Monday to Friday Zoom call men only greatmenmovemountains.com forward slash cnote the cnote show free daily call. This I've got to see. It's worth watching so stay tuned.